Hi, I'm Karen Redmond, Chair of Waterloo Region, and I want to thank you for joining me again to talk to kids about COVID-19. Back to school is fast approaching, and most families with kids have been discussing their plans about whether they're going to return to school or do distant learning for weeks. Our five grandchildren are really excited about going to school. The little girls are each going into JK this year, and they're so excited about going to the big school with their big brothers. The boys are very excited about going back to see their friends and to find out who their teachers are. Now, I know our daughters and their husbands have discussed Plan A, Plan B, and Plan C, because the reality is there are a lot of unknowns. For everyone, going back to school is a huge transition after a very long absence from this classroom. There also may be added measures to keep us safe during COVID-19. There may be additional cleaning protocols. There may be fewer desks. You may have to stay six feet away from your classmates. And for many people, that is causing some anxiety. For younger children, they may have concerns about what the new rules are. For some, it may be about practicing to put their mask on and off or talk to them about what they do with their mask during a nutrition break. Public Health has some great videos on putting masks on and off and on washing your hands with sanitizer when there is no soap and water. Older kids may be feeling concerned about the new normal and what that will look like in their classrooms. It's really important to listen to their concerns and help them come up with strategies when they face challenges and you're not around to help. They may be anxious about the risks. Returning to school is not without risk. When you've made your decisions, I ask you to be kind to other families who may have made a different decision for their children. They may have family members with health considerations or children who have health concerns. School boards are working really hard to make schools ready for our kids to go back and learn. At the heart of all of their work, the hard work of teachers and with the help of public health, they are keeping the safety of our children center to all of their decisions. So I'd ask you to be considerate of other families. There are no wrong decisions. Every family is going to make up their decision to do what is best for their family. I hope you enjoy these last few weeks of the summer and that this fall, everybody is excited to learn, whether that's virtually in the class or a combination of those things. Stay well.